Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, I see in the chat people mentioning some Muslim names. There is no need for this drama. This guy want to debate me and this guy there. Save your time. The Muhammadan who dare to debate me, he just can give me his Skype, I will call him. So don't mention names in the chat, otherwise I will block you. I don't have time for kids. Kabich? And don't tell me this guy want to debate you. A person he is willing to call me, I don't call it a debate. I mean, when you when you say debate, uh, you have to speak to somebody who have knowledge. All those Abdul's are potatoes. They don't even know how to say their prophet name correctly. But we will come anyone to call us. No problem. But this is not even a debate. It's just a snack. So don't waste your time and say there's a guy there and a guy here. If they are really men, I will call them. Just give me your Skype, I will call you. Very simple. But they are potatoes. And my Skype right now is open. If there is any Muhammadan, he is really brave and he think he have a prophet and he have a religion and he have a God. Well, that's good. Call us. Let us see if you can handle the truth or not. Uh, in the chat, I saw somebody saying that someone in Tech Talk, he says that the word Allah is Aramaic word. Well, your friend in Tech Talk, he said the truth. Aramaic word, but it is the moon god. The word uh, Allah in Aramaic, which means God, used as God, uh, this is not the same as Allah. Allah is al lah is two words. However, still it is Aramaic. The moon god is an old ancient god, exists, and the Muhammadan, they copy it from the Aramaic people, specifically from people like uh, the Sabian. And remember, very important thing, we do not need silly talk about the name of God, because what if the Muslim, they change their God name and they call him Jesus? Still, he is not our God. So, the problem of Islam is not the name of God. Satan, he can change his names. The same as Muhammad changed his name from Qatham to Muhammad. So, name is not really the problem. The ethic and the teaching and the nature of God is the problem. As an example, the name of the God of the Christian and the Jews uh, never mentioned to be Allah. However, the God of the Christian and the Jews, he has a spirit. Allah is not a spirit. The God of the Christian and the Jews, you know, uh, he have different teaching. As an example, we have the Ten Commandment. Uh, the God of the Christian and the Jews, he came to Abraham as a man. The Muslim didn't believe in such a thing. So, uh, the nature, the everything, even the heaven, the, the Muslim, they go to heaven, what their heaven is, is a porn, you know, porn apartment full of uh, men, their penises is, is sharp, and women, their legs is up. Excuse my language. So it's not just about a name. Only silly people, they take it to be about a name. The Muhammadan, they think if they put the word, the word rose rise over their donkey, their donkey will become a rose rise. No, the donkey will stay a donkey. As the Chinese, they say, he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. And in this channel, we prove to you always that Muhammad was a donkey and he will stay as one. Now, who is a Muhammad? And he can call us and prove us wrong that Muhammad is not what we say. Any Muhammad? Anyone? Muslim in America, they say all the time they believe in Jesus. Well, the word Jesus does not even exist in the Quran. They have a guy, his name is Isa. 
He is the nephew of Musa's. His mother is Maryam, and his grandfather is Amran. <laughs> we never heard of such a thing. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh, so why do Islam and fallen angels both fear God? I'm not sure what does that mean. You see, uh, Muslims, they don't fear God. The Muslim they fear terrorism. Whoever changed his religion, kill him. The woman she disobey, beat her. It's a terrorism society. Everybody beat everybody. So you ask questions about Islam, they will kill you. Who said that the Muslim they fear Allah? In Saudi Arabia, if you don't go to the mosque two or three days, maybe not now anymore, but not long time ago, maybe a year ago, before they demolished the Islamic police in Saudi Arabia, if you don't go to the mosque for a few days, the secret police of Saudi Arabia, they will request you for investigation to check why you don't go to the prayer. During the time prior of prayer, they force the police, they force people to close their stores and they beat the one who is walking in the street in order to go to pray. And there's a million videos in YouTube about it. If people really believe in their God, then we do not need to beat them by a stick to go to pray. And we do not need to force them to pray. Do we agree? Because they would love to go and pray. I do not need to beat you to pray, right? So they made a punishment if you don't fast Ramadan. But if a true believer, why he will not fast Ramadan? Are you following with me? Why we need Allah says if you eat in the street, you stay in jail for at least a month. So Islamic countries, nobody fear Allah. They fear the penalty. It's a terrorism religion. So we terrify you in order to act as a Muslim. The second you give them little freedom, Islam is gone. Just give them a freedom. Little freedom. Go and see Saudi Arabia right now. Now they have movies, they have theater, they have party, they have festivals. Where is, uh, that's it, it's over. Give them freedom. Now, do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us live on air? Our topic, Muhammad is the top wicked man ever exist. Who is a Muhammadan? Don't agree with me. Any Muhammadan don't agree? Anyone? Well, look like they agree. So, you will notice all those potatoes who claim that they can debate me and debate us and come to us. Okay, I will come to you. Give me your Skype. I will call you. They are potatoes. You know, they don't even know anything about the religion. I saw Abdul. Uh, he have a video. An Arab Christian, he called him and he said to him, what is the proof that the Quran is from God? What is the answer? Huh. Okay, well, nobody can make Quran like it. That is the most funny, stupid answer ever. I challenge you to make a book like my book. Can you? And uh, I never heard of a God he will approve himself by saying, I make a book nobody can make like it. And what is the book saying? That there is Gog and Magog behind the dam made from copper and iron and no, and every day they dig and nobody notice it. And Suleiman, he died holding a stick so nobody noticed that he is dead for a year and then the termite ate 
the stick and then people notice that he is dead so this is the book you are challenging me to write like it and then we go to the Quran we will find that the Allah himself is not even making Quran according to the Quran Allah himself is quoting the ants as an example I never heard of a God he quote ants I mean this is the most stupid religion ever you say to me nobody can make a book like this and then we find the whole chapter is the is the ant and Suleiman talking and flying carpet and the bird is talking remember nobody can make a book like the book and then what and the end she said okay who is talking the end how many words Allah he said in those sentence Allah he said till she, he they came to the valley this is Allah talking until here Allah is talking the rest is the end and Suleiman have fun So Allah is quoting an ant, and the ant is making Quran. If an ant can make Quran, you know, if we ask the Muhammadan now, okay, it there is anyone can make a statement like this in the world? They will say, no, it's impossible. But this is the ant talking. It's in the front of you. Nobody can make like it, brother. What? Unless you are an ant. So the ant must be God. And then Allah, he he talked again. So he, Suleiman, he smiled. Allah become like, a, like, like, you know, the grandpa who is telling you a story before bedtime. So Suleiman is like, a, you know, the guy who... Uh, uh, he go, 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 almost go. He missed it. He missed it. So this is the commentary. Who is making the Quran? Allah is talking now. So he's so he he did not even say Suleiman. So he smiled, amused with her speech. But ants even don't even talk. The ants they communicate. We can't say they talk, but not by talking. They communicate by vibration and chemical. So how he heard their speech? What speech? In Arabic it says قالت, which means she said. What the heck? Until they came to the end, one of the ants said, read it. I'm not saying, I'm not, this is not my, she, she said. And just to make it more funny and stupid, you know, Allah, he taught Solomon the language of the birds. Suleiman, he understand the language of the ants. Look. It says, Suleiman, he said, O oh, mankind, we have been taught the language of the birds. So the guy, he went to the school to learn, to learn the language of birds from Allah. How he bought at a school. And then he came out from the school speaking the language of the, the ants. And then the Abdul, he says to you, nobody can make a Quran like this Quran. When as you say, the Quran caught in the bird, caught in the ant, or caught in the genie. An army of Suleiman, all of it is what? A human and chicken and genie. Don't mention that to Putin. He will recruit. He will start recruiting chicken. And this is what makes the Quran unique. It's a stupid book. So you challenge me to make a stupid book like the Quran. And now if I make a stupid, stupid book like the Quran, you will say this is not the same. We know what you will say. Who is the judge? And the funny is Muhammad himself, he received satanic verses. And Muhammad himself did not notice that this is not from Allah. How Muhammad did not notice that this is not from Allah? Shaitan himself, he gave Muhammad satanic verses. And then Allah to fix it, Akka Muhammad. Obviously, there is no shaitan gave him satanic verses. Muhammad himself is the shaitan. So he said, whatever shaitan he throw in, Allah will take it off. I thought nobody can make Quran like it. How, how shaitan, he make Quran and put it in the Quran. And Muhammad himself did not notice.
Do we have any Abdul? Hmm? And the funny, the Muslim, they say, they deny, they say, no, he did not receive any satanic verses. It's in front of you. It says Allah will take it off. So if he did not receive, Allah will take off what? Nothing? So this is the wicked Muhammad. When he was with the Arab, who they are pagan like him, and you know he want to make them join him to he want anyone to accept him to be a prophet desperate so he bowed down to the three daughters of allah and he worshiped them and he said the three daughters of allah their intercession is a must do we have any muhammadan here would like uh, would like to join us don't forget to share and you know I encourage you actually to make short videos from my videos and post them in TikTok, etc. Let us see what the Mohammedan can say. If this is a channel run by somebody, Muslim they think he is weak, you will see the Muslims there will be non-stop calling. Non-stop, but they don't dare. Any Muhammadan want to prove to me that Muhammad is not a wicked man? The most wicked, not only wicked. Do we have anyone? From what I understand, we can comp can we compare Muhammad cult to of personality to North Korean cult of personality? My friend in North Korea, there is no cult. This is a communist. They don't believe in God. There is a dictator. You know, he do as he wish. His people are suffering. You know, they don't even have food, and he is fat like a balloon. Him and his daughter. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a brave Muhammadan can call us and tell us if Muhammad is not. If there is anything good in Islam? Anything is good in Islam? Because if Muhammad is good, Islam will be good. If Islam is good, Muhammad should be good. So did Muhammad present something good to make him qualify to be called good? Hmm? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan would like to join us? Nobody? What about in the chat? There's no Muslims in the chat? All the Muslims left Islam now? Hmm? Who want to convert me to Islam? Because honestly, I like to have an endless penis. I mean, if Muhammad is not wicked, what kind of a promise he promised men to have endless penis? What's wrong with two meters penis? Why it's endless? I mean, what if it's like 30 meter penis? At least we can use the firefighter, use it for something useful. If Muhammad is not wicked, why his promises is very wicked? You see, wicked God sent wicked prophet and gave wicked promises very simple prove me wrong hmm? any muslim want to prove me wrong the wicked muhammad as an example when he speak about women who 
you can see through their bones. Isn't it, this is a wicked promise? Why are we going to be jellyfish? But if you understand the culture and the wickedness of Muhammad, he is a white supremacist. And the more white you are, the more you can see under the skin. So Muhammad, he wanted to be extreme in his promises as a white supremacist, wicked man. So he promised them women that they are going to be see-through, which is very nice, you know. I mean, the wicked Muhammad, he knew that the Arab men, they like very white women. So he decided to exaggerate with his lies. They will be so white, man. Until if you, you know, she is, uh, you see through the, not only you see through, through the marrow of, uh, sorry, the, the skin, you see through the marrow of the bones. Wicked. Any Mohammedan can tell me why we need to see the marrow of the bones of the women? What is exactly, and this is very authentic hadith, why they are so white and tr transparent. Look, look how the Muslim tra translate the, 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 the statement of the wicked Muhammad. The women who Allah made for you for sex in the sex manufactory in the porn camp, those women are so beautiful to the point they are transparent, pure transparent. And then he continues saying to the point that you can see the marrow of their bones through their legs. Isn't it this is a proof that Muhammad is a wicked man? He is trying to tempt horny men who they are living in the desert, who they worship white women's skin. So they go and die for him. Go die, go. Don't you want to get this? Wicked. Any Mohammedan? The reason they don't call because they knew that you know everything we say is true and you know uh, imagine like you are a person who believe now in islam converted to islam here we go this is your wife in the heaven of allah now we have to admit that this is very beautiful Who don't like such a view? Who don't enjoy it? Let us be honest. You are now in the heaven of Allah. And you have all those women who they are extremely, extremely beautiful. And like she said like that and she tempt you. Look at the high heels. You know, I cannot keep the little picture long, sorry, because I'm single and I might get tempted. Even though I printed this picture and I put it in the top of my bed and around the bed, but I don't like to look at it much because it is very tempting. This is what your prophet said. I mean, we just made the hadith into an image. Isn't it the hadith says, you will see the marrow of the bones? Did I make things up? Am I lying? Here we go. It says the marrow of the bones of their legs. And the funny is, like, just say the, the, no, he said the legs. Okay, okay, legs. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Legs. All right. So this is what we have. Wicked. Wicked mentally ill. Not only wicked. And it's, stup and it's stupid. Who in the world? And they say to you, who can make Quran like the Quran?
Any Muhammadan? We have to agree that, uh, you know, there is a benefit of having women like this. First of all, your wife, she cannot take uh, your credit card. She, she will see, you will see it. She cannot push it like in her, in her bra. Hello. <laughs> if she ate your hamburger, you will know, you will see everything in her stomach. She cannot deny it. She cannot say the kids ate it. It's transparent women. So she cannot hide anything from you. She cannot take some dollars cash, put it in her pocket to go and do shopping because you will see everything. You know, like you, you know, you see women, especially in the Middle East, they, they have like their, their bra is like a shelf. I don't know. They push the phone there. They push the grocery there, tomato, the meat, the ketchup, you know. I mean, I want to know how big this, uh, this, uh, I mean, is it a bra or what is that? I mean, they push every, the keys, you know, the keys of the house is there, the money, the wallet, all is in the bra. So all this is over. The wicked Muhammad, he come with the solution. Do we have any Muhammad that can explain to us what this promise is about? FB, he wanna talk to me? Who is FB? Give me your Skype, FB. Post your Skype. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us live on air? Anyone? You know what? I decide to announce myself as a prophet and you Muslim, I promise you that not only you will see through the bones, you will see through the walls. That will be better because now you can see, you know, like you can go wherever you want to go. You go to the store, women, they are changing the clothes there. You can see through the walls. What do you want more? What the heck is that? Is that a promise coming from God? And not only that, you, when you go to heaven of Allah, because Muhammad is a white supremacist, racist, the first patch, they will be extremely white, shiny like a brilliant star, as the translation says. You know what I told you always the first ones always they get lucky there is first and there is last there is first people who enter heaven and there is last people to enter heaven any Muhammadan explain to us why the wicked Muhammad promising us a lot of women for sex and he described the size of the penis and the size of the vagina of those women and the size of their ass. If he is not wicked, why he's doing that? Anyone? Who is a proud Muhammadan? He can call us and show us one good thing about Muhammad, and we will discuss it. Anyone? Hmm? Where I got the transparent picture? Oh, those, uh, you know, my wives in heaven, they authorize me to use their, they send me their pictures from heaven. Those heaven women. Okay. Excuse me. What are you talking about? You know, this is a um, private matter.
You never saw somebody like his wives in heaven sending him pictures? Yeah. There's one picture though she sent me. I did not like it because I could not see through. I know that she looked like here she have double butt. Or maybe she ate too much food. I'm not sure what is that. I asked her, she said she have no idea why the picture. She said she will talk to Allah and she will ask him if there is something wrong. And then I asked her about this picture, what she was, do, what she were doing. You know, well, she said, well, I am looking at the picture upside down. Said, oh, okay. I thought, she said, no. She was not really laying down and her legs is up as I think, or I thought. She was sitting and her hands touching the wall behind her. Hmm. If B, he is saying already I blocked him. Okay, my friend, here we go. Just to confirm it, I just blocked you in the chat. I don't have time for kids. But this is my, you know, uh, my favorite wife. Because remember, I have a lot of them in heaven. Uh, I asked her about the color of her shoes. Are they white? She said no. They are red because the camera cannot handle the beauty of her shoes they like they, they get blind the camera get blind a blinded camera because they are so shiny so I'm telling you my friend if you convert to Islam you will get a lot of beautiful stuff just think about it you are now in the heaven and those women are in front of you. Who can really resist such a beautiful friend, sorry, beautiful promise from the most beautiful prophet of Allah who is so white and the Muslim, they wrote books and articles about how white his underarm. There is a video uh in uh, in youtube it's called the description of a prophet of allah let me let me show you this uh, I'm, I'm not going to play the video because you know they will flag my uh, video for uh, copyright as usual the guy he was describing prophet of allah he almost cried. And he was describing him how white he is. Like there is a guy, he came at night and he saw, he saw the moon. So the guy, he look at the moon and he look at the prophet. He look at the moon and he look at the prophet. And you know, when he looked at the moon first, he said, I'm going to see which one is more white, prophet of Allah or the moon and shiny. So at night, he looked at the prophet, he looked at the moon, he looked at the prophet, he looked at the moon, he looked at the moon, he looked at the prophet. He just keep, you know, keep going until tomorrow. And the sheikh here in the video, when he is speaking about it, he is like, so emotional so he look at the prophet and he look at the moon and he look at the prophet and he look at the moon and he look at the prophet and he look at the moon and and he said what well, the prophet is way more beautiful than the moon and in the video they describe for you how long the eyelashes of muhammad i mean if you you know if a man he describe a man in such a way there is no way you think that this man is a straight. He must be a homosexual. And instead of speaking about how filthy he is, they are talking about a guy they never saw him. They never have a picture of him. 
and if Muhammad was so good looking why women they were running away from him as an example one of the wives of Muhammad she left him and she converted to Christianity and she married a Muslim another woman Muhammad he said to her offer yourself to me she said how a queen like me offer herself lisuqa which means to the savage low class trash I challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying I challenge you to get me busted and you know the Mohammedan they say that they don't worship Muhammad so why you talk about how sexy he is when in fact he is ugly ugly not only uh, you know for me I don't care really for look uh, because you know there's somebody who might not look good like me I don't look good you know but I have a good heart as an example when I was a prophet I went to my friend his name is Abu Bakr and he have a daughter she is six years old five actually and I like this girl man I mean when she was in her diaper I knew it that said she is mine so I told him to my friend Abu Bakr I want her so Abu Bakr my friend he looked at me and he said but I am your brother so I said to him hold on you are my brother in the religion and she is mine if any Muslim don't believe that this is what happened to me please call me and I will show you all the reference I mean do you see how wicked he is he forced the man to give him a six years old girl five years old and he is at the age of 54 at that time any Mohammedan I noticed by the way that when I put some kind of uh, like attractive pictures the numbers of viewers increase I mean how wicked is this world people they see especially men they see this picture like they go and look what the heck is that so they start to clicking and clicking and clicking I think look the numbers are increasing like I have 10,000 11,000 12,000 view 13 15 16 I mean look how fast the number is increasing just because they saw that Allah he promised us a jellyfish any Mohammedan can call us and explain to us why those women they look like that anyone by the way if you are like if you are a man married and you are afraid your wife she come and she see what you are watching now <clears throat> maybe you better go and li listen to the rest of the program in some like in the yard in the bathroom make an excuse you know you don't want your wife to come and look at the computer and you have this in the front of you you know what will happen I mean she look at herself and she look at this she look at herself and she look at this she knew that she cannot compete so don't put yourself in such a situation where obviously your wife she will go crazy or like this position I mean who can beat that or this one. Oh boy. Thanks to Allah, she put her hand between her legs. Otherwise, we will see things we should not see. I mean, my wives, they are really, really wild. And I told them, don't send me pictures like this. I mean, how I can wait until I go to heaven now? Any Muhammadan want to prove to us that Muhammad is not a wicked sex maniac, mentally ill, 
awkward. Anyone? They keep asking me where I get those pictures from. I just told you my wife's in the heaven of Allah, which he promised me. He, you know, they, they send me those, uh, you know. Okay, I will tell you something. Maybe most of you do not know. There's a program. It's called WhatsApp. The first one who made this program, it was Prophet Muhammad. When Prophet Muhammad, he saw the angel Jibreel. The angel Jibreel, he clicked at him three times and he said, what's up? And Muhammad actually said, what's up? I can show you the reference. You know, Zabriel, he said to Muhammad, he squeezed him first time. This is like a click at that time. Because, you know, like in the beginning, the software have some bugs. But by time, it's improved. So in the time of Prophet Muhammad, it was he squeezed him. So he squeezed him first time. Then Prophet Muhammad, he said to him, what's up? In the language of that time, he says, I told him, read. I said, ma ana biqari. According to Muslim, that mean, I cannot read. And imagine you send the WhatsApp to somebody, he do not know how to read what the WhatsApp. Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan here? What is the excited Muhammadans? They want to show us Islam is amazing. Islam is so beautiful. Huh? Should I convert? I, you know, Richard, you made me upset now. If I, This is not a question, my friend. If I am you, I will not hesitate. If you think about the benefit, as an example, I just received a call from Putin after he heard that uh, Allah will give a penis which is endless. And as you know, that the CIA, they destroy the pipeline of oil coming from Russia. So Putin himself, he called me and he said, can we borrow your penis to use it as a oil tube? You know? And I said to him, you know, I've, I don't know really. I'm going to think about it. Uh, I said, but it's endless. I mean, you want to take uh, oil from where to where? He said, from Russia to Germany. I said, well, it doesn't work. He said, why? I said, well, okay, it's endless. I'm not going to let you cut it off. Until, like when it's arrived to Germany, you cut it off? Get lost. You know? So uh, Putin, he, you know, he said, oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, he said, what about we glue it again? So what are you talking about? How you can glue it, man? This guy is really crazy. You know, Prophet Muhammad never mentioned that if you cut it off, you can glue it again. What if we cannot glue it? Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan want to prove to us that Muhammad is not wicked and mentally ill? What kind of a promise is? You know, all of us, we knew that uh, Uzama bin Laden and the the the, the mufahideen, they call them mujahideen. Look at them. <laughs> anyway. Uh, according to Muhammad, those who die for the sake of Allah, Allah He will put their soul in a green bird. So, Uzama bin Laden and the guy next to him, both of them now, they are shish kebab. Right now, brother, they are green chicken. And what make it more funny, that how you promise us those women, we are going to sleep with, and all the you know sexual promises, and now we find ourselves that we will be Birds, green birds. Any Muhammadan? So the wicked Muhammad who tried to uh, seduce his men, obviously he's a mentally ill person.
you are going to be inside a bird and Allah will hang you in the chandelier under his throne why Allah he have a chandelier under his throne I'm just trying to find you the hadith here in English hold on We cannot find it here. Let us see. Isn't it beautiful that now you are a person who died for the sake of Allah? And now Allah want to reward you. The wicked reward he promised you in this penis but yet you are now a green bird any Mohammedan can explain to us the wicked Muhammad you see the wickedness of Muhammad not only about him sexually like as an example he go to his own son wife and he flirt with her and obviously he is sleeping with her already when the husband is not at home that is very wicked the wickedness I'm talking about is in everything this guy is wicked he have sex with the children this guy he encouraged his men to divorce their widows and marry children's so he can suck her saliva is that true The prophet said, "When your brothers were submitted in the uh, submit in the battle of Ahud, Allah put their spirit in the crops of a green birds, which go down to the river of paradise. By the river of Babylon, where we sat down, Muhammad is not there." What the heck is that? Allah put their spirit in the crops of a green bird which go down to the river of paradise, eat its fruit and nestle in lamps of gold in the shade of the throne. What the heck is that? So all this is drama to end hanging under the ass of Allah on a chandelier and you are now a green chicken? How beautiful, how nice. You should convert right now so you can be chicken, we cook you with rice, and we eat you right, right now. Isn't it beautiful? Put yourself in the shoes of, I can't say shoes, the guy is dead now. What shoes? The American, they took his shoes. What the heck? What shoes? Put yourself in the coffin of Osama bin Laden. And now, Osama bin Laden, look, look how, you know, this guy, he became a green bird. This guy now and his partner, both, they become a green bird. You know, but if you think about it, I mean, why, why, why he is a green bird? What, what, why not like a yellow bird? Why green? I mean, this guy, Muhammad, because the Arab, they are people in the desert. So he promised them everything is green. Their clothes is green. They will be inside the bird is green. I mean, I imagine you go to heaven, everybody is wearing green. So you think you are in a surgery room. Everybody wearing green for eternity. Everybody. So this is Osama bin Laden.
He's a green bird now. Any Muslim would like to say takbir? Those are the wings, sorry. Green bird? I mean, are you sure? I guess we should not, should make it yellow so the picture will appear better. I know, I know. All of you, you are wondering from where I got such an skills of arts and unbelievable. I know, I know, I know. It's okay, it's okay. I know it's not a compliment. I think, I know you know that I am the one who touched, taught the guy, who, you know, they call him Picasso, you know. Actually, I am the one who called him that name because I used to call him back, uh, you know, he was a bird, this guy. So I, I, he have a like nose like a peak, so he have a peak. So I said, uh, yeah, like pick it, yeah. So like like so, okay. So like so I said okay, and then you know I decide to call him because so like uh, just a nickname, and then people you know and he took many of my art actually this idiot, and he uh, put it in eBay because at that time there was an eBay in time for because so yeah, and uh, he starts saying it. Anyway, so this is. The you know you are now in heaven, and now you are a green bird. Isn't this is beautiful? Those Christians are making fun of Islam, and they are saying, you know, th this is not true. And you know, each time we make a video and we we rip Muhammad apart, what the Muslim they answer in the chat? There is no way in the Bible. Jesus, he said, "I'm God, worship me." Or we can say it like Zach and Nay. But the sister, I trained you to find one place in the Bible. It said that this is it, I'm going to worship me. Not a single verse in the Bible says that. And for sure, please get your umbrella. Do we have any Muhammadan? He have anything to say? Hmm? Any Muhammadan? would like to say anything will will be a green bird what the heck that's all this drama is about what about like a green wolf green lion i mean green and where under the ass of allah because where the chandelier is under allah throne it's not like in the size of us, like in the front of Allah. At least you can see this Allah. So now you are under his ass. And all the fart and all the noise. Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan? Zero Muhammadan. Hello. It's me you're looking for. I will make a bird as before, and I will cook you here and there, so far. Hello. How beautiful to be a bird, and you are a green like a nerd. In Arabic, we will call you a qard. Which mean a monkey? Hello. Any Muhammadan? So while Jesus was making the blind see, walking in water, making the dead alive, people touch his clothes, they get healed, controlling the nature. He tell you what you had in your houses. Uh, the Quran says, I mean, he do everything. Muhammad was promising the Muslims to believe in him, not showing them miracles. He was promising them you will be a green bird if you die for me. Any Muhammadan? I mean, look, we have to be honest here. Since I start drawing, a lot of people who love arts, they start joining us. Did you notice? Like right away, people, they are coming from around the world. 
it's okay, it's okay. Me people are asking for signature. Later, later, please. Now, after after we finish, because the art is not over yet. The wicked Muhammad, he claimed that in the heaven of Allah, there is a tree. Anyone knows what the name of the tree? Who knows? This tree have leaves like the ears of an elephant. And the leaves are made from gold. And if you walk underneath of her, oh sorry, the, uh, of it, sorry, it take you five hundred years. But what is under the tree? There is a river. Come, there is four rivers actually, but there is one river have nothing to do with those four. This river is made for Muhammad. It's a sperm river. And Muhammad, each time he report the story, he changed the number. As an example here, it says, the prophet B-P-U-H-S-F-E-D-S-A-B-C-D-F-G-G. Oh no, what the heck is that? Like, they can't even say his name without adding a bunch of titles none of them is true there's a tree in the Jannah it's so huge Your size doesn't matter we have to be honest that if a rider of a swift horse has to cover it is the distance from one end to the other 100 years and he will not be able to do so so how you just said to me 100 years and he will not be able to do so aren't you in heaven you will live forever what 100 years for if your orgasm is 70 years alone in different hadith muhammad he changed the number here it's 100 let us see the front one here it's 100 here it's 100 here it's 100 hmm 100 I'm sure there's one is 500 hold on we need to find it where we can find that hadith One hundred year. <laughs> Maybe we can find it here. Let us see. But anyway, the name, the the tree, it's called. The, there is a this place. Under the tree, is where, the prophets of Allah. They come from. Like you go from the earth, first heaven, second heaven, third heaven. It's like anyone watched the the movie. It's called Alice in the Wonderland. So she go under the root of the tree and then she eat from the cheese. You know, I don't know. This is exactly what will happen to you. And according to Muhammad, the wicked Muhammad, the Nile River and Sihun Wajihun and the Euphrates, they are coming from under that tree. Hmm. Any Muhammadan? Was Muhammad really? Did Muhammad go to heaven or he went to Ethiopia? And how the river of Euphrates and the Nile River and you know they are 
from coming from one place. Anyone? The wicked Muhammad, he promised Muslims all kind of promises. And he told them tons of his stories. But if you read, you will see that those stories doesn't make any sense. As an example, Muhammad was so wicked to the point, Allah himself, he decided to make a surgery to clean him up. Because his heart is so wicked. Is that true, Muslims? Look, Muhammad, he said, I was between the sleep and wakefulness. Wakefulness. That's a nice word. Wakefulness. Huh. Okay, sounds like something. When I heard someone say, he is the third among the two persons. What the heck? Then he came to me and he took me with him. Then a golden basin containing water of zam zam was brought to me and my heart was open such and such a part in fact in arabic and the other hadith says and from here and there which means his testicles yeah, because this word is with their heart Qutada said i asked him who was with me i.e the narrator and what he meant by such and such part he replied it means open to the lower part of his abodomen do you like it abodomen or, or abondamen i think abondamen is, is is nicer i'm trying to change the english by the way to make it sound better you know i don't like it the way it is so abodomen abondamen it's better it's more like it's more fatty, you know, like delicious, like full whole milk, you know. Anyway, so they opened the lower part of his abundant You Just say testicles, man. Then the hadith continue. My heart was exhorted, extra, extracted and it was washed with the water of Zamzam. See how wicked he is? Allah, he said to himself, I'm going to break, bring Muhammad to me. How in the world I'm going to bring such a wicked man? I have to do a laundry, laundry first. Hey, Muslims. <laughs> Is that a laundry? Any Mohammedan can tell me why Allah is washing. <laughs> so they open the trunk and they try, they start taking parts of Muhammad. Throw this, screw this, wash this, get rid of this. Why, man? Huh? Any Muhammadan? And then it was restored in its original position, which is his testicles, after which it was filled. Look here. Muhammad was so wicked to the point Allah, he need to make a plastic surgery which they do usually in Thailand, not in Mecca. And he installed faith. Why Muslims? Muhammad, he have zero faith at that time. Like maybe the battery died. They brought a dish of gold full of faith and wisdom. Look, 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 look. Filled with faith and wisdom. And here in this hadith, actually, they don't say the word, they don't translate the word dish. So if we go to different hadith, just to show you how, how the Muslims, the Muslims are the same as, you cannot leave the goat with the Quran. Two people, you cannot leave them, like I say people. Two people, you cannot say, you cannot leave them with the uh, uh, books. Goat and Muhammad, and they eat it. They eat it. Okay. What is the, what is the, what is the sentence that says, 
that he they brought a dish full of gold sorry a dish made of gold full of faith and wisdom is gone and then brother look at this look at this story so beautiful so beautiful so beautiful sometimes when I you know I read it I feel I want to cry you know I always wanted you know like when I used to go to school I asked myself how I can get wisdom without going to school and then I get the idea inspired by a prophet Muhammad a dish of gold full of faith and wisdom look at this look how beautiful how beautiful you know who can come with such a story except the wicked Muhammad uh, and you know I don't know if any of you by the way he feel like he's a fool or something I can give you but in private please the exact address where you come by the gold dish full of faith and wisdom and by the way they give them in like there is uh, one come with a strawberry uh, one come with uh, mayonnaise one come with uh, like uh, different flavors you know uh, there's actually the one my favorite dish of wisdom I ate uh, it was uh, have a taste of uh, honey fig man it was so good and then after I ate it I felt like figgy and wisdom was dropping I was walking in the street and I remember actually the police he gave me a ticket he says you are making the floor behind you slippery too much wisdom will kill you you know so I said okay well uh, wisdom he said in my country we call it diarrhea <laughs> So Muhammad have a diarrhea of fairy tale stories that his God, he brought him a dish full of gold, full, sorry, of faith and wisdom, and they installed faith and wisdom inside him because he was wicked. And they washed his inner because he was so wicked. He Muhammadan, if there is any prophets in Islam beside Muhammad, Allah had to do wash his trunk before he can take him to heaven in other way he was so wicked and filthy to the point we cannot take him to heaven before we clean him up is that true or i'm making things up otherwise you tell me what was the purpose of this uh, surgery any muhammadan Huh? According to Muhammadan, Isa, supposedly this is Jesus, Allah took him to heaven. Did Allah need to wash the chest of Isa? Did Allah need to install a dish of faith and wisdom in Isa? Why only Muhammad in the history of Islam, he needed such a plastic surgery? Any Muhammadan, Mede Mede, Mede Mede. And by the way, why the faith and wisdom they are inside a dish made of gold? Maybe Muhammad at that time he never heard of a plastic. I thought Muhammad is humble, and Allah don't care for gold. Obviously, they care a lot. Allah dishes in the kitchen, all of them they are gold. Any Muhammadan? Mayday, Mayday. Who is a Muhammadan? He think he can call me and he have wisdom already, which means he do not need a plastic surgery. To fix his wisdom. And I feel sorry for Muhammad, honestly. 
I mean, this guy, he repair his roof every two days. The angels, they don't go to his house from the door. They open the roof. I mean, what's wrong with those? Uh, okay, I thought the angels, they can go through the walls. What do you mean the roof open? True story. Any Muhammadan? Hello? Hmm. And then after they put him, uh, uh, they like stuff him. Like, hold on, there's a hadith actually is even better than this one. Hold on. Okay, I'm trying to find it. Hold on. Even even they installed the with the wisdom inside his uh, veins. Where is the hadith? Let me go off the screen because I don't want to make you blind flipping. Uh, hold on. Look at this. How the Prophet of Allah, he have such a knowledge. Read with me, read, brother. I think, you know, I don't know, such a story, you need to have some kind of meditation to think about it. You cannot just uh, read it. It's so much spiritual and touchy. I know many of you like the word touchy, don't you? Okay, yeah, touchy. Okay, so uh, here you will see that Jibreel cut out open this part of the body between his throat. Remember, you know, uh, he in the other hadith say a different story, but anyway, uh, in the middle of the chest to the heart and took all the material out of his chest. Man, nothing left inside, like Mickey Mouse. You watch, did you, I remember Tom and Jerry, like, ding, 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 you know, he opened the you know, the uh, the chest and he started taking things off and he threw it like you know, they, they are making surgery for the dog and they took the bones inside. The chicken bones, I mean, they throw all the material inside out. We have to think carefully here about this statement. Why the prophet, he says material? Hmm. That's deep. The material. They took the material out of the chest of the Prophet and they washed the material with the water of Zamzam. And brothers and sisters, 
He did not wash it normally. If you have a problem to wash your laundry or underwear and you are so stinky and you do not know how to wash it, get the detergent Zum Zum right now. You can call our number 1-900-ZUM ZUM and the customer service will answer you is under Tate. Call right now and reserve your pimp reservation immediately. End of commercial break. He did not wash it normally. Just by water? It was Zamzam. With his own hands. He did not use laundry. The angel of Allah using his hands. If your hands are so, so dirty and they are so stinky and each time you put it over your nose, you smell so bad, please call us immediately. We have a solution for you. 1-900-ANDROTATE. Give me your hand. End of commercial break. With his hands. Not only hands, his own hands, his own hands. Every one of you, he need to use his own hands. However, we have a solution. What if you are married and your wife, she keep beating you over your hands to the point you cannot touch anything anymore? Buy our electronic hands. This way your wife, she cannot hit them because they are costly, they will shock her, and they have a battery. Call us right now and get a hand which is not yours. End of commercial break. What the heck? Tell the day cleansed, cleansed the inside of his body. I told you he was wicked. They need to clean it. So dirty. I'm telling you, so disgusting. Special treatment. Detergent. Clorex. Not to forget spitting. Sneezing. The angel, he used all the tricks to clean the wicked prophet. Any Muhammadan, he decided to call us and tell us what this heck is about. If Muhammad is not so wicked, they are clean what exactly? Anyone? Hmm? Even Allah himself, he refused. And the funny, the Muhammadan, they say, and the Quran say, that if Allah, he wanted something to happen, he said to it, be, is going to be. So Allah, he could not even fix the wickedness of Muhammad, the clean inside him by saying be. So what he do? He sent two angels and they have to use their own hands. You know what? I'm so proud of the angels. They are using their own hands, not somebody else's hands. I mean, did you notice the word his own hands? Why is he supposed to use somebody else's hands? Oh, I forgot the prophet. He said something about somebody else's hands. The prophet, he said, after you finish eating, don't wipe your fingers. Don't wash your hands. Let somebody else lick it for you. What the heck? He don't lick it. Somebody else lick it for you. When one of you eat, must not wipe his hand then until he lick it or give it to someone to lick it. I got to lick it, lick it. I got to lick it, lick it. 
Lekit, what the heck is that? The wicked Muhammad. And what is the wisdom behind this? There is a blessing somewhere. There is a blessing. And look, 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 guys. Look at the explanation. You go to the Abdul house. Abdul is eating. And now he finished. He gave his finger to his wife. And she starts sucking his fingers. Look, such as a wife, a husband. Oof, 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 oof. Aren't you sure not a slave? Man, that's amazing. So beautiful. Haram, haram. Why Muslims don't do that in the restaurants? Why does Abdul in YouTube like Mimi Hijab and you know make a video like in your McDonald and and give your fingers to your wife in the front of uh, this is something Lili Dawa he can do. This guy he always asks his wife to do things in public. Honey, come over here and yes, because I finished eating, I want you to lick my fingers. No, no, my fingers only. Remember, we are live on YouTube. What are you talking about? Thanks to Allah, they did not hear you. What the heck? And what is the excuse from the wicked Muhammad? There is a blessing lies in there. You don't know where the blessing is, brother. What the heck? Any comment? Good and breath. What the all? If we all break the, 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 the oh, Zachary, right? what the heck is that? What the, what, what, what you say? They just don't speak so fast. I can't understand you. Christian Prince. Allah Prophet. He did not hygiene. What? Hygiene. You mean hygiene. Exactly. And Christian Prince don't correct me in English. I mean, your English is so funny. Well, I have to agree with you. My English is funny. But, I mean, the way you talk, man, is very hard to understand. Uh, anyway, so uh, the Prophet was teaching us hygiene. Exactly. How in the world this is hygiene? So you go to a restaurant and you give your hands to people in front of you and they start sucking it and licking it. What the heck is that? How that is a is that going to be good for like disease and etc.? Don't you think it's going? Oh, I forgot you're a doctor, Zakir Naik. Good and breath. Yes, first of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Zakir Naik. And I get my degree from the most important university in the world. Yeah, Zakir Naik, where is that? The University of Taliban. What? The University of Taliban. The University of Taliban. Okay, no problem. They have university now. So, okay. So, what is the purpose of sucking your tongue and sorry, your your uh, your uh, fingers and give it to your wife or your slaves to lick it? You know what the heck is that? What for? Good and breath. First of all, if you read the hadith, the prophet he said there's a blessing. Because what a blessing, man! The food is a food. That's it. You ate. You are done. And now it's your fingers. I mean, is your fingers a dish? I mean, how much food do you have in your fingers usually? Is I can name. Good and breath. My finger is full of food because my nails is very long. Therefore, a lot of food is under my nails. Zakir Naik, may Allah nail you. I mean, that is the most stupid answer ever. Uh, <clears throat> do we have any Mohammedan? The wicked prophet. The wicked prophet. Prove me that he is not wicked. Muhammad, he never wipe or wash his hand after eating. He lick it. If you don't believe, it's in front of you. You got to lick it, lick it. You got to lick it, lick it. Lick it. Wicked. Wicked, mentally ill, sexually wicked, mentally wicked, ethically wicked, stupidly, you know, uh, uh, how Muhammad, he, you know, he cleaned himself after sexual intercourse. Is that true that he dry his hands on the wall? Let us see. 
Where is the hadith about? This is always about. Uh, <coughs> Wicked. Any Muslim would like to prove us wrong. Where is the hadith? The prophet he pee in the street. People walk by, the women walk by, children walk by. And Muhammad he is holding his penis and he piss in the middle of the street. I'm just trying to find the hadith. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to teach you today a great example of how to learn how not to be wicked and not to be a dirty man. The Messenger of Allah came from a privy. I don't know what the heck is that privy. What privy? Is that a translation now? A man met him near Bi'ru Jamal and saluted him. But look, look at the false translation. They did not tell you, they did not translate that he is urinating. Read with me. They did not say he is urinating. In Arabic it says, min Allah it. So Muhammad, he just finished his shit. And now he is going to clean his hands. So after he finished, he came to the wall and placed his hands on the wall and wiped his face and hands. Mm. Beautiful. He is not wicked. Mm. Any Abdul? I mean, there is tons of hadith. I want to show you. It's endless. Until now, we have a zero Muhammadan there to call us. Let us see how clean was the bedroom of Prophet Muhammad, wicked upon him. Oh, I got an idea. Let us, from now, uh, say wickedness upon him. What do you think, guys? Prophet Muhammad, wickedness upon him. I think this is, uh, this is good. Okay. Copyright registered to Christian Prince, please. Okay. Maimuna, the wife of the Prophet, reported him saying, Zibril, peace be upon, wicked upon him, promised to visit me last night. Look, the angel, he promised him to come last night. Brother, he did not promise, keep his promise. I cannot believe it, that an angel of Allah, he made a promise to visit Muhammad, wicked upon him, and he did not show up. Even the angel is wicked, he make false promises. But why? We need to understand why he could not make it. But he did not visit me. And then it occurred to him that there was a pup under the bed. What the heck? The angel, he could not keep his promise to the Prophet of Allah to visit him because there is a puppy under the bed. The angel of Allah was defeated by a puppy. How, 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 how cute. Must, he must be a chihuahua because chihuahua, they think they are lions and they are very vicious. 
So he ordered it, ordered it, and it was turned out. He then got water in his hand and sprinkled the place. When Jibril met him, he said, We do not enter the house which contain a dog or a picture. And all the Mohammedan, they are in TikTok, Facebook, taking selfies and pictures, and they claim the angels are praying with them. And then the wicked Muhammad, he ordered to kill all the dogs. Blaming the dogs for Jibreel is not coming. I mean, do you see the solution? Here we go. Okay, kill all the dogs. Wicked. You tell me, if Muhammad is not wicked, why anyone want to kill the dogs? Here it says, kill the dog. But the dog, he did not do anything. In fact, Muhammad, he ordered to kill all the dogs. And later when people, they complain, they need them. I mean, I don't know, people need dogs, especially if you live in the countryside. If you are a farmer or you have a, a chicken, you have a, you need a dog. Allah Messenger ordered to kill dogs, all dogs. And we were even killing a dog which a woman brought with her from the desert. Afterward, Allah Messenger forbid us to kill dogs, saying, Confine yourself to the type which pure black. Listen carefully. Now he is focusing with his racism, the wicked Muhammad. A black dog, he should be killed. Anyone knows why a black dog should be killed? Why a black dog should be killed? If Muhammad is not wicked, I want to know why he is ordering to kill all dogs. He claimed that the black dog is the devil. Remember, Muhammad, he claimed that Satan is a black. Satan, he will come even as a black Ethiopian man to destroy the Kaaba. Black bird is the devil. Black dog is the devil. Muhammad, he says, وَقْتُلُ كُلَّ أَسْوَدٍ بَهِيمٍ kill every pure black because he is wicked one of the Muhammadan asked the wicked Muhammad wicked upon him why we should kill what distinguished the black dog why I mean why, why he insists with the black dog what his obsession so they ask Muhammad that question. They ask him, what is the difference between yellow dog, red dog, and black dog? I said, oh Abu Dhar, what feature is there in, the, in a black dog which distinguish it from red dog and yellow dog? He said, oh son of my brother, I ask the wicked messenger of Allah as you ask him are you asking me he said the black dog is a devil so if you are not convinced that Muhammad is a wicked man please call me immediately prophet Muhammad wickedness upon him is an evil man. I mean, dog is just a poor animal. You see, there is dogs, they can be vicious or they have a disease. Okay, we have to get rid of them. But why you want to kill the dogs? And now he is focusing. He is paranoid. He have a phobia from a black color. He's racist. I 
يعني محمدا anyone who is a Muhammadan he can prove us wrong that Muhammad wickedness upon him is not a wicked man to the bone the most person Allah he hate is a black man is that correct Hey Muslim, am I lying? Is it true that the most person Allah he hate is a black man? Or I'm lying? Any Muhammadan. You will notice that those Muhammadans, here they are potatoes. In different places, they are lions. Anyone? Your opinion in Muhammad Ali. I mean, why I need to have an opinion in such a person? He's a boxer. Uh, why people care for such a person? You love famous people, right? They fooled him. He's a victim. Many of you, long, uh, most 99% of American, Western, around the world, not only in the West, didn't know what Islam is about. He's a victim. But who, why, why you care too much for such a name, Muhammad Ali? Why people they worship a celebrity of stupidity? He keep beating people, and people beat him until he, in the end, his head shaking like a chicken, non-stop. So what is the accomplishment he made? Stupid. This is, you know, those kind of a sport. They aren't even a sport. Those are stupid sport and those who watch them I believe they are stupid too can we ask questions you to me or to Allah because I have double personality sometime I think I am Allah and sometime I think I'm the wicked Muhammad prove me wrong Any Muhammadan? Why Muhammad love cat? Muhammad don't love cat. Muhammad he love nothing. But uh, uh, Muhammad he have a phobia from dogs because dogs they can sense evil. They can sense bad energy. You know dogs are not the same as other animals. Cats they have no loyalty. You can have a cat for a ten, you know, ten years. Somebody else give her food, she will go to him. You know, this why, you know, this loyalty is what Muhammad like. He's wicked. Cat is wicked. They have no loyalty. I'm not saying now wicked to say that I'm saying cats are evil, but I'm saying by nature they don't have loyalty. A dog he have a loyalty, and they can sense. This why you don't see. In the airport, they are using cats to find the drugs. They use dogs. They can sense things nobody can sense. Not only by smell, they can sense energy. You see, all kind of those, this, the, we can call them beasts. Originally, they are beasts. They are not bets at home. Uh, when, when a beast, he feel your fear, he attack you. Because he can smell your fear. 
your fear will become a smell. So obviously Muhammad, he noticed that those dogs, they don't like him for they smell his bad energy, his wickedness. Even his angel, according to Muhammad, he cannot enter a house, have a dog. So here you notice that even the angel of such a God, Allah, he have a phobia from dogs. Somebody asked me about uh, Exodus 20, 21. If there is such a thing in the Quran, no. In the Quran, it says actually, in the case of murder, free for a free, slave for a slave, women for the women. Which another wickedness of Muhammad. I mean, look at this guy. He claimed that he is coming with a religion of the justice of God. So, what is the penalty in the case of murder? If a black man was killed by a white man, the white man will not be killed for killing a black man. No, he's a slave. He killed him. We kill a black man in front. So if I kill your slave, black man, you kill my slave, black man. If you don't believe me, the verse in the front of you, and he can read the interpretation of it. And then when people, they start complaining about the stupidity of this unjust, Muslim they claim that Muhammad he abrogated his wickedness read it chapter 2 verse 178 free for the free which means white for the white black for the black actually the word the word uh, in Arabic it says well abdu bil abd the word here used is Abd. Abd means slave, yes, but it means Negro in Arabic. The black for the black. So if a free man kill a white free man, kill a white free man, the white free man will be killed. But if a black man killed by a free man, a black man will be killed in return. If you don't believe me, we can open the interpretation. Maybe a Christian prince is lying, shall we? Shall we? The wickedness of Muhammad is beyond imagination. So now we have two victims. We killed the first black man, and now we are going to kill another black man, and Muhammad, he called that justice. And he claimed, uh, uh, one, uh, 78, sorry. And he claimed that this is from his God. I mean, can you see the beauty of this religion? Read carefully. Christian Prince is not saying what he is saying from his own. It says here, a free man is killed for a free man and not for a slave. Do you see it? And a slave for a slave. And a female for a female. So you kill my wife, I kill your wife. What kind of justice this justice is? What about you kill the killer? No. The killer only will be killed if a white man killed a white man. Any Muhammadan? Any Abdul? Zero Abdul. In the last almost week, we have zero Muhammadan calling us. They give up. They knew they are no match. 
a free man will not be killed for killing a black slave man. Muhammad wickedness upon him. Any Muhammadan? And then not to forget to mention that Muhammad he claimed that when Allah he created Adam he hit Adam in his shoulder and he said uh, and and uh, from the right shoulder white if of you know, white uh, offspring uh, they came from his right shoulder those are the white ones and he hit the left shoulder of Adam and then the black people came out of him his shoulder and he said to the one who came from the right shoulder which means the white you go to heaven and I don't care and the one who they are born from the left shoulder which means the black he said to them and you go to hell and I don't care. And this is a very authentic hadith. Any Muhammadan? Can you be more wicked than this? Any Muhammadan? Who is more wicked than Muhammad? The claiming that just because your color is black, you go to hell. And you will see he want to kill black dogs. Anything is black is his enemy. And then the Muhammadan, they go to the foolish ones around the world. Asian, black, whatever. And they said to them, Islam, don't discriminate. And then they quote for you a hadith. It's called uh, the last sermon of the Prophet. He said, there's no difference between black and yellow and etc. Except by how much you fear Allah. But this is nobody. Nobody can prove this hadith to be true. And this is even against the Quran. And this is not even mentioned in the authentic hadith. This is authentic. Look, in the English in the front of us, it says what? Isnadun Hassan. In the right, it says Sahih. And have good Isnad, which means reference of proofs. All the men's are mentioned. They are good. It says the grade Sahih. It's in the front of you. Sahih. Wicked man. Disgusting man. And then they want to fool the black people, saying to them that Islam is a religion for everybody. Do we have any Muhammadan? A Muslim saying to me, I increased his Iman, smash Allah. Will look like this guy, he don't like black people. Because now, after I showed him this hadith about black people, they will go to hell. He claimed that me saying such a statement increased his faith. Smash Allah. Read it. <laughs> Do you want me to put more air in your balloon? I increased his Iman. Why? Because he agree. He is a racist like his prophet. He want 
people who they are black to go to hell. And maybe now I will increase your Iman a 3,000 times more if we speak about the Prophet ordering your wife to suckle me. Even Muslims, they go around and ask each other to suckle the boobs of each others. This is Mimi Hijab asking a sheikh, very well-known sheikh, to suckle his wife because the sheikh, he caught the Prophet Hadith of suckling, which is a part of the Quran. Did I increase your faith now, brother? I hope I'm moving in the correct direction. Isn't it clear that Muhammad is wicked? If he is not wicked, how he order and command women to give their boobs to strangers so they can suckle it? Any Muhammadan? MashaAllah, I'm thirsty. If there is any volunteer, I prefer fresh human female milk. According to the Prophet advice and his God Allah. Hmm? Is that true? So isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a wicked man? And look, the wicked man Muhammad, his plan almost destroyed, actually destroyed, most of the Quran was eaten by a goat. And remember the Muhammadan, they say, the Quran, brothers and sisters, is preserved. There is not a single book in the world. Okay? And then we find that the Quran was eaten, most of it, by a goat. By the way, Muslims believe in destiny. Therefore, this goat was sent by Allah to eat the Quran. You know, when I saw this first time, I said to myself, as long as everything is destiny, this is what the Muslim is saying. So when the goat ate the Quran, it was destiny by Allah. When David would ate the Quran, it was destiny by Allah. And then you need to ask yourself why Allah is making David Wood and the goat eating the Quran. What Allah is trying to prove to us. And now who can recite for us the verses which David Wood he ate? Are they still in the Quran? No. Aisha she said that the breastfeeding of 10 times for adult was in the Quran and the goat ate it. Any Muhammadan? By the way, I don't want to tell you what happened to David Wood after he ate the Quran. I heard that Allah, he punished him and he make him lose all his 20 a uh, thousand teeth. This is why when he talked now, he talked like this. Brother and sister, I talked to him last time, like what the heck sound like Zakir Nay? What happened to him? You know, it looked like when he ate the Quran, Allah cursed him. And he lost all his teeth. And this is why he's wearing glasses now, by the way. But he was wearing glasses before he ate the Quran. Yeah, but now he is wearing glasses more because now he cannot see anymore. Allah, he cursed him. I know actually a person, he ate the Quran with hummus, you know, second day in the morning, Allah, he made him jalebi. He woke up in the morning, his wife, she went to the kitchen, he found him jalebi, she ate him, 
she thought like she don't how did know how she know that this is her husband you know Allah punish him don't you know the Muslim they make videos about the guy who burned the Quran he died they fabricate stories nobody can fabricate stories as a Muhammad I mean I make fun of Muhammad every day all my life and Allah did not make me die and how many change how many time I change Allah to make to cause me to die and one day I will die. They will say, Allahu Akbar, Christian Prince, Allah killed him. My friend, I would die anyway. But uh, uh, why he's waiting? I mean, what he's waiting for? Until we eat the whole Quran? That's not fair. So, look, the goat, and I believe that this goat, I don't, this goat is fishy, man. I mean, the goat, she ate the breast feeding for a dog. Who in the world want to believe such a garbage? It is you, Muhammadan, who ate it. I mean, how the goat she ate the verses. Do you have a verse in every one page? There is no way. I mean, at that time, you know, writing material is very expensive. So she ate the verse, only a verse. What about chapters? I mean, a goat, give, give a tree to a goat. She will finish it in half hour. I'm serious. If you have a backyard, you want to destroy the, the, the back, backyard of somebody, bring two goats. They will eat everything, especially if the trees are short and they can, even they will climb the trees, even if they're high, if they can climb it. Who in the world would believe that the Quran of 10 time breastfeeding, yummy, yummy, ardi'ini, ardi'ini, yeah, are you sure? Rdaul Kabir, Wama Adrak, Rdaul Kabir. Hikmatun, Wama Waidatun, Lissara Sir. Wain Kunta Ahirun, Ocean Tear. Fatabe Rasul, Lissara Sir. We just made Quran. Any Muhammadan? Who in the world would I accept his wife giving her boobs to anyone? Hmm? There's an Egyptian uh, woman she have interview with the sheikh so she asked him about this so she said are you saying that all those people who work with me in the studio I have to do breast feeding for them he said yes he said all those engineers lighting audio directors he said hey, everybody including me You have to do breastfeeding for adult brother. And this is was Quran from the wicked God. Peace upon him, wickedness upon him. Do you need more proof that Muhammad is a wicked man? I mean, name for me one thing is not wicked about this wicked man. Any Muhammadan? How come Aisha did not get a net at nine years old? Muhammad, but I should never get uh, Muhammad he cannot have sex I believe strongly Muhammad he never I will have Muhammad you know uh, uh, I obviously have he have a problem <laughs> see all the women he had sex with he could not have any of them have babies uh, the Muslim they say to you there is a Mary the cooked she is a slave given to him as a gift look how nice he is you know 
he is against slavery, but he received male as a human. So this woman, according to the stories, she was blonde, very white, and Muhammad, he liked to sleep with her. And the Muhammadan, they claim that she gave birth to a child. But all the hadith from Aisha refer to it clearly, saying that this person, this kid, he don't even look like you. He can't be your son. And even the Quran witnessed that Muhammad, he cannot have a children. No, he was not shooting blank. He was not shooting at all. You see, when Muhammad, he said, I was the most weak person in sex between all mankind. Why Muhammad want to say such a statement? Anyone can tell me? His wives, they exposed him. You know, actually, as long you just, you just remind me. When the wife of Muhammad, she said that the Prophet, he imagined himself having intercourse, but in fact, he did not. She exposed him. And this is why then he have to say, well, you know what? I was the most weak person between mankind in sex. And then I invoke my God, Allah, and he sent me a dish of Al-Kufayt, which means Kufta, and I ate it and I get the power of 40 men. Is that correct? And the funny is that Muhammad, he said himself, that the most evil person for Allah is a husband or a wife who will speak about their private life to public. And then we find that Muhammad, he speak about his private sex details and Aisha, she do the same. As you see here, this is private. This is very private. She's, she, she can say, well, the prophet, he have a problem. He imagined himself doing things. No, she said he imagined himself having sex. In fact, he did not. But Muhammad himself, he said, the wicked man, that the most evil person in the sight of Allah is a wife or a husband who release a secret between a wife and a husband. And both of them, they did that. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to defend the wickedness of Muhammad? So let us make a vote today. I want to see people making comment and tell me what they think about the new name I decide to give to Muhammad. Each time we say Muhammad, we say wicked upon him. So wicked upon him, what we will do? W, U, I don't know what we should say. Or we say wickedness upon him, like in full. What do you think, guys? Who like this idea? Each time we say the name of Muhammad, if you are later watching the video, leave your comment and tell me what do you think. Don't you think that Muhammad really deserve this title? WUP? wickedness upon him but until people they used to it maybe we have to say the words in full Muhammad wickedness upon him because you cannot go wicked more than this the guy he go to his own son the wife is alone he flirt with her he take the wife from the husband the guy he go to his friend he have a daughter she is five years old he want to f her and he take her and he rape her he, uh, this guy is wicked in every way.
so wicked upon him I think this is the perfect name and he deserve it and he earned it actually he worked for it don't forget to subscribe and if you don't subscribe already don't forget to unsubscribe because that make me happy we Middle Eastern we have a weird habit you know like you tickle us when you subscribe and we tickle us again twice when you unsubscribe <laughs> like, oh, oh stop, stop stop subscribing unsubscribing yeah the Prophet he did that the wicked man Muhammad a man he was topless and Muhammad he came from his back and the wicked Muhammad he started doing things what things things I cannot share with you because most of you are so young this is the Prophet Muhammad wickedness upon him he is not a homosexual no he is just playing with men look at this Abu Abdul Rahman in Abu Abu Layla quoting said blah 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 that said that when he was giving to Justin and was talking to the people making them laugh the Prophet poked him and that the ribs with the stick and chicka 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 he said ha let me retail take retaliation he said okay okay take retaliation he said you are wearing a shirt and I am not what the heck the prophet was tickling the guy he is wearing no t-shirt and then the prophet he raised his shirt and the man embraced him and he began to kiss his side and then he said this is what I wanted O messenger of Allah imagine brother and sisters the prophet lifting up naked his t-shirt and now you are holding him you put your head down around his belly and in fact it says kashahu not just his side down his belly and you are kissing the prophet belly and down and not only that each time you kiss it you say this is what i wanted this is what i wanted all my life it's my dream come to be true isn't it beautiful imagine imagine you are a prophet but you are funny and dummy you walk in the street you see a man is stopless you poke him with your stick which we do not know which stick they are talking about and then the man look at you he said prophet Prophet, if you are a person who like to poke other men with the stick, and you are a person who like and enjoy kissing men down their belly, we advise you to call us right now, 1-900-THE-WICKED-PROPHET. Learn how to do it correctly, so both of you, you enjoy it together. I am Andrew Tate, and I approve this message. What the heck? What is that? I mean, how wicked we can go. I mean, imagine why would it? the prophet lifting up his shirt and the guy 
what, 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 what? And not only that, actually, there is a different hadith where the man he he rubbed his back with the chest of the prophet. Oh, mommy. Oh, wickedness blue, Muhammad in blue. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy, boo. Muhammad, this guy, he blew everything. How wicked he can go. And then the wicked Muhammad, he made verses about any believing women she want to offer herself to the Prophet so he can if her. Look how nice this is charity. I mean, those women, they, they are horny. At that time, there is no sex toy. Sorry, there is sex toys at that time. Do you remember the hadith? You know, guys, once... Oh, man, we have a lot of memory. I was... Uh, we were reading a hadith about Muhammad. He put his penis with the, between her forelegs. And the Muslim, they claim that the forelegs is not legs. I mean, it says, Bayna shi'abi hal arba. Have you ever heard of a woman have four legs? It's a goat. So I was debating this guy. They call him Monkey Box at that time. And uh, he is, uh, you know, Nadir Ahmad? Nadir Ahmad. So, uh, and Nadir Ahmad, he says, Okay, my prophet have sex with the goat. Isn't it your Bible that says, Smash the head of the baby? <laughs> So the Abdul, he have no problem. He's a prophet having sex with the goat, but he have a problem with the smash in the head of the baby. <laughs> and then guess what? We found that the smash in the head of the baby is in the Quran. Isn't it? Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. Oh, mommy blue. If you are here first time, don't forget, and you're subscribed already, don't forget to answer subscribe, please. I heard rumors that people who subscribe to my channel, they won the lotto. I mean, let us see how many people will subscribe now. Actually, it's not a rumor to, sh to prove to you that this is a true story. I have witnesses, Prophet Muhammad and Zibril. What the heck? Prophet Muhammad and Zabriel, they are the witness. What do you want more? So listen carefully. If you subscribe to my channel, you are going to win the lotto. And not only that, your mother-in-law, she will start liking you and she will never bother you. I can bring you tons of my friends who would subscribe to my channel. After they subscribe to me, their mother-in-law, they like them to the point now, they sleep in the middle between him and the wife. I mean, do you see how much she like you now? She is sleeping in the middle between you and your wife. So subscribe to my channel if you like your mother-in-law to scrape to sleep between you and your wife. And Allah, Allah, praise be to the wicked Muhammad, he will fix it all. And don't forget to say, inshallah, so it's going to work. Okay? <laughs> what a crazy cult zero Muhammadan takes me in Skype take a note not a single one of them there not a single one not a single one will call me and say you are a liar I challenge you show me the reference they don't dare hmm Any Muhammadan? You know, the Muhammadan, they try to fabricate all kind of a story about how amazing Muhammad. So one of the stories they fabricate, that George Bernard Shaw, uh-huh, he said, uh-huh, in one of his books, uh-huh, that if a prophet Muhammad was alive, uh-huh, 
He can fix all the problems in the world while he is drinking his coffee in the morning. When in fact, George Bernard Shaw, he said the opposite about Islam. <laughs> and we cannot find where he said that, which book? And now the Mohammedan, they say, oh, the Kuffar, they hide that book. Oh, we did. Uh -huh. And you know, Muhammad can solve any problem in the world to the point when he have a fight with his wife, Aisha, she is four foot tall, a teenager. Now she is growing. She's a teenager. She is not six no more. And Hafsa, he needed the support of the following so he can fight his two short wives. Who? Allah. Is Allah is enough? No. Look, look. If you two wives of a prophet, wickedness upon him, namely Aisha and Hafsa, turn into repentance to Allah. It will be better for you, okay? So the Muslim, they add between two brackets to fix the stupid Quran because the Quran without bracket is bracketless, which means meanless. So actually, even with a bracket, doesn't make any sense. I mean, the God of the religion and the one who created the universe, he is making a verse about two women have fight with the prophet and there's, and he can solve all the problem in the world while drinking his coffee. So if you don't repent to Allah and turn to him, in your heart and declined opposing the prophet likes but if you help one another against him Muhammad wickedness upon him then verily Allah is his protector and master etc and Zabril Allah is not enough Muhammad cannot fight two women with two Allah are you kidding me women I mean my friend when I tell you women are scary and you don't, many of you don't believe me. You tell me women are beautiful, like, eh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look at what happened to Muhammad. This is the best man in the world, brother. The best ever. Two women, they made him go crazy. He lost his mind. Now he imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he is not. He is using his toothbrush. <laughs> He imagined himself seeing an angel, but he's not. He's talking to the goat. And now those women, they have a strike against him and throwing potato and tomato at him. And Allah, he sent a threat to control them. So he said, if you are going to go against the prophet, Allah is protector. But that is not enough because protection of Allah is not enough. Those are women. Dangerous. And Zabril, ooh, Zabril is getting involved. He has 600 wings. And not only that, and every righteous Muslim among the believers, which means zero. And furthermore, the angels are his helper. All of this to fight two women, namely they are Aisa and Hafsa. I mean, who is left? And they say to you that the Prophet Muhammad, he was a very strong character. He can control anything. He can solve any problem. And the proof in the front of you. So imagine I have a fight with my wife and now the God who created the universe, he said, if you don't stop attacking CP, I'm going to make you shish kebab. And not only that, I will bring Zabril with me and he will support me. And not only that, every righteous believer like Ali Lili Dawa, the one is talking right now. I'm Ali Lili Dawa. And my wife, she, she's bring me the grape. Hey, grape, grape, please. Okay, and protector, and Zabril, and every righteous believer, and furthermore, all the angels. What the heck? I mean, nobody left in the sky. Everybody in the sky is coming in one truck. Allah and Zabril and every righteous and furthermore. And what is killing me is the furthermore. Look, look, this is one alone is like the most powerful weapon. And furthermore, like he did not stop. More, more, more soldiers are coming. Furthermore, the angels. All of the angels, they are coming to fight the oppression of 
two women against Muhammad. Yeah, have you ever heard the Adan? My friend, what about you hear the Adan from somebody, his voice is ugly and you will die laughing. So what the Muhammadan they do, they bring you someone, he have a nice voice. Have you ever heard the Adan? My friend, have you ever heard Michael Jackson? Stupid people. Bring people to have a nice voice. Whatever they sing, even if they say the word shit, it's going to sound nice. Have you ever heard the Azan? And what is the Azan? Allah Akbar? If Allah is Akbar, why he is asking for a lot of support to fight two women? As you see, Allah is Asghar. And Akbar means bigger. How Allah, nothing like him, and he compare himself by saying he is Akbar. What is a nice voice? That's a good question. What is a nice voice? What is a nice voice? I don't know. What is a nice voice? That's a good question. It's something make you sleep. It make you go to the deep. Nice voice. If you have a voice of Michael Jackson and you hold your balls and you say that then it's going to come very good. Because Michael Jackson, he never sang without holding his balls. All the garbage we saw the Abdul and he said to us, have you ever heard the Adhan? <laughs> What a stupid religion. <clears throat> Actually, according to, look, look how powerful the Adhan. The Adhan is so good to the point each time a Muslim he say the Adhan, Shaitan he fought. So is the sound we are talking about is mixed with farting without farting? What kind of a prophet he would say such a thing? Shaitan, when he hear the Adhan, he turn his back and break wind. <clears throat> break wind, break wind. The prayer of Muslims is the end. Is the end of peace for you. And I will make you a barbecue. And Muhammad is a shame. Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Break wind. Shaitan, he break wind. Who told Muhammad that? I mean, who in the world want to believe such a garbage? And why the shaitan, he, the shaitan, he want to break wind so he cannot hear the adhan. Are you telling me that a fart, a fart can prevent you from hearing the call for Allah? The fart wind. I knew it. And how Muhammad, he got this information, where he get it from? Who is a Muslim can tell me where Muhammad he got this serious information from? Like did he receive a chapter, it's called the chapter of farting? Or maybe Muhammad is the person who is behind a philosophy, it's called fartism? Like how fartism can cause optimism? Or maybe he is the one behind the theory and the fartism and satanism. And he is the one who wrote the article, what is the connection between fart and Allah? Because you say Allah, he fart. And that explains global warming. How many Muslims they pray a day? Calculate the number with the fart of shaitan. You will find that the problem we have in the world of a climbing things is Satan farting because of Islam? So we need to destroy Islam so Satan will stop farting. And thanks to Prophet Muhammad, he is the one who finds the connection between fartism <laughs> and Satanism. <laughs> I mean, name for me one thing this guy he said is not hilarious, stupid, or wicked. 
Can you? And there's a video in YouTube, the guy, the sheikh, he explained to you how shaitan, he play with your bows. Not only fart, when you go in the bathroom, if you don't say a prayer, shaitan, he go and he play with your bows. Man. Your bows is under the threat of shaitan. Mm, because you are a Muslim. See, Muhammad, you know, he put in the mind of Muslims conspiracy. A Muslim, he can sleep in his stomach. Why? Because shaitan will if him. What the heck? A man, <clears throat> he saw, he opened the door of his room and he found his wife touching herself. And he claimed he saw fire in her pubic area. What the sheikh, he said to him, brother, Auzu billah, brother, your wife, brother, wa auzu billah, she is having sexual intercourse with the genie. And this is why her pubic area catch in fire. Because remember, genie is made from fire according to the Quran. <laughs> you know, is it obvious, you idiot, that your wife, she is horny and you are not doing your job? So now he blamed the genie. Oh boy. <laughs> Pubic <laughs> area cut in fire. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Muhammad, the idiot who become a prophet. Look, 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 look. This is a Muslim YouTube. <sighs> Part number two. I wish I can play it for you. How does the jinn have intercourse with women? Now I know who is the real father of Mimi Hijab. <laughs> what the heck? And this is number two? What happened in number one? <laughs> look, and you know, like, and look at the genie. This genie, he looked good, man. At least he would do his job. The husband is not doing anything. And they say to you that this is the religion of Allah, when this is the most stupid cult ever. Stupidity is beyond imagination. The genie having sex with your wife, Abdul, and you. Are, so how you know that you are the father of the kids? Huh? Oh boy. <clears throat> and now every single Muslim he will start feeling suspicious about his wife. She is sleeping with genie, maybe. This is why she don't like what I do. She keeps saying you need to take some medicine because the genie is so strong. Actually, according to Muhammad. The shaitan, he have sex with the wife of Solomon, the wives of Solomon, all of them. And how the wives of Solomon, they notice that this is not Solomon. Anyone remember? How the, how the wives of Solomon, because shaitan, he took the look of Solomon after he stole the ring from the wife of Solomon. When Solomon, he went to the bathroom. True story. <sighs> Proving, you know. How they find out? Anyone remember? Anyone remember? How they found out the wives of Solomon that this is not their husband, this is Shaitan. Nobody remember? Maybe there is a delay in my voice, taking time. <clears throat> okay, just to make the question more clear, especially for the Muslim, I have to make echo. 
Brothers and sisters, 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 who remember, remember, remember how the wives of Solomon, 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 they notice that this is not Solomon, 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 this is not the husband, 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 husband. Anyone remember, remember, remember? No, they notice that the genie, the shaitan, is so good in boom, boom. Not like Solomon. So they reported him to the elders. They come to the elder. They say, this can't be our husband. What happened? This guy, he's, he have a gun. He don't have a penis. I mean, this guy, he start shooting on a stop. Like, next. Next. So they went to the elder. They said, we can't take it no more. What happened to our husband? This is no way. He's a, he's a human. And this is how they discover. And Shaitan then, when he heard this, he decided to run away. And he threw the ring in the ocean. And then one fish, she swallowed the ring. And then Solomon, he was walking as a potter in the port. And he asked a man to carry the fish for him. And in return, the man, he would give him a fish. So the guy, he said, okay. So when he went with him to the home, he carried the fish. He took the fish from him as a wages. He went home. He opened the fish. He found his ring. And with this, I wish you a Merry Christmas. It was a very nice night to spend with you, and I hope you enjoy the fairy tale stories we told you, which is proven to be true, mentioned by Prophet of Allah, the most honorable wicked man in the world. Who can prove me wrong? If you wonder how you can find my videos, always you can go to patreon.com slash Christian Prince. You do not need to make a donation. Don't worry. It's all for free. Just go there, click at the last post I made, and you will know where I will be live. Because as you know, I have more than one channel. And I like to practice the monkey practice of Muhammad. Jumping from religion to religion. Once I pray toward Jerusalem, and once I pray toward the Kaaba, depend on the mood. Actually, I heard that his real name is Modi, which now he is the Prime Minister of India. Modi Prophet. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And today, we come with the real good names from Muhammad. Wickedness upon him. Remember it. Leave your comment and don't forget to unsubscribe because if you subscribe, you will lose, you will win the lotto. And I don't want you to win the lotto because I want to win it only, even though I never bought it. Thank you very much. God bless you and see you soon again. Take care.